Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents. Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website, which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us, where I am Liz Quinn, your lead Scentsy consultant. So today I have for you my bi-monthly Scentsy Club. And if you do not know what Scentsy Club is, it is our subscription service that Scentsy offers so that you can always get your bar. You can have a little bit reduced shipping on a major shipment like this that I have here, which is a big one. And you can also get within your subscription any of our consumable products, meaning things like laundry, things like car bars, things like cleaning products, all of that shipped to you either four times a year, which is called our quarterly, bi-monthly, which is every two months, or every month. And you can have all of those different frequencies if you would like to manage three of them. You can have two of them, you can have one. You can have one subscription where you kind of scoot it around between all those different frequencies depending on your needs. It's a very customizable and wonderful kind of a program and Scentsy Club to me is probably the most valuable thing that I have when it comes to working for this company and even before I was working for the company just as a customer. So. They always get my bar option is all that I have in here except for a brick. And that's another thing that's amazing about Scentsy Club is that the classics that we carry and even some of the classics that we now have in bricks, they are retired bars that you can no longer get as a bar or they're in the off season as a bar. The bricks you can get for $24 a piece or when you have $60 or more US in your club subscription, it unlocks a half off item and you can get a brick for $12. You can get a tub of washer whiffs, which is usually 30 for 15. You can take our regular whiff box, which is a subscription, its own subscription service. You can get that for half off, which is going to be half of 35. So I could go on and on and on. I know you guys are really just here for the wax, but I wanted to explain again about this fantastic system. And it is really just a wonderful, wonderful thing. If you're looking for a consultant to park your club with, I am always open. It is the, my most exciting thing to see on my website is a new Scentsy Club, sub, sub, Scentsy Club subscriber, which is quite the tongue twister. I value you guys very, very much. So let's get into this very big box of wax, guys. So there are things here that I have since cut out of this particular club. I added extra things because there was such a big changeover. So many different types of LTO bars and fall winter bars that I couldn't decide how many I really wanted of what. So I wanted the dust to settle, threw them all in my bi-monthly and my quarterly next month will be a big one too. So I could think about it. So some of these are no longer in here, but at least for today we will enjoy them. The first bar that I have, where I have two of them in my subscription, is Apple Butter Frosting. This might be the most valuable bar in my bi-monthly club. This is never coming out. This bar is such a favorite of mine. It is a wonderful, wonderful bakery classic that they got rid of a couple spring summers ago. This is just happiness in the bar, you guys. It is vanilla, creamy buttercream. And then you add an apple-y, kind of an apple butter, deep apple scent and spices. It throws wonderfully. It's got great intensity. It almost smells like the little, a little bit of an almond or a cherry extract because there's so much scent in this bar. When you melt it, it just smells like wonderful apples and spices and frosting, but it's just so concentrated in its solid form. Absolutely amazing. So like I said, that is probably the most valuable bar that's in this particular club for me. The next one that I have here randomly is Love and Happiness. This is very good also. This is a bar that was Bring Back My Bar last summer. This is unusual. And one of the reasons that club is just so, so much fun is that you can save all the bars that come back for things like a bring back my bar or a special limited time offer. You can get the bar form of a brick. There are so many things. And then you just keep it in your club until you decide that you don't want it anymore. And that is always an agonizing decision. If any of you are Scentsy junkies and you watch those edit videos that some of us do, it is so difficult to decide okay, I'm at my max budget, I have too many bars, I'm bringing in too much wax, I'm not melting enough. Or maybe a scent just isn't something that you love after a while, then getting rid of it, then you worry that later, for me it's usually a couple years later, you reach for what you think is that last bar and you'd already melted the last bar. Oh, so that's part of why I have such a hard time taking things out of my club once I put them in. 
Because I'm one of those people that also owns, I'm not kidding, probably 50 throw blankets, over 100 pillows. They're all in my basement because I always want to have options. I'm not one of those basic black and white closet kind of people. Like everything is, is very minimalistic and it's all capsule. No, I am a maximalist at heart. You guys can tell because I'm always changing things behind me in my scenery, right? That's so that I can use that crazy collection I've got in my basement that looks like home goods. Anyway, back to love and happiness. I'm really chatty today. Love and Happiness is this wonderful chestnut and vanilla, a little bit powdery, a little bit gourmand, very sweet, amazing scent. And it's perfect for this time of the year. Right now I have a drizzly, kind of snow, kind of freezing rain, kind of everything blah day outside for March. This is the kind of bar you want to be melting. It just makes you happy. The next one is definitely a bar that is far more spring summer and this is Bora Bora Blossom. Now I saw another one of my friends, I think it was Melissa Johnson Height, get this in this older packaging. It smells fine, but I was getting bars that had updated packaging so it makes me a little bit suspicious about whatever Scentsy's doing with their stock. Which is one of the few things that can be kind of a drag with Scentsy Club is that I think when they find an old pallet of something that maybe got lost in the warehouse, you get the old bars. But anyway, if you have a quality control issue, you can always talk to your consultant or call Scentsy directly and they'll do what they can to take care of you. They always do. So Bora Bora Blossom is this island fruit lush tropical thing that is just incredible. I love this bar. I thought when I started putting this in my club, I'd be able to just get rid of it. It's one of those that I just can't. And I don't think anybody else in my family loves it as much as I do, but I just love to melt that bar. It makes me so happy. The next one is the one I was the most relieved I had saved from our current spring summer. Well, no, there are two of them, but in my bi-monthly, it's the one that I'm the most relieved that I saved from our changeover to spring summer. And this bar was not in the catalog. And that is the beautiful Atlantic air. Now in my quarterly club, Club, the most important bar that I saved that they retired is Summer Holiday, but we'll talk about that one next month. So, oh, Atlantic Air makes me so happy. It's this beautiful, floaty sea salt air with orchid. By the Sea is great too, but this one really takes the cake for me. And By the Sea is still in our catalog. This is more floral, it's more delicate, it goes a long time at a medium low level in your home. We've got to get this voted back in a couple years for Bring Back My Bar for all of you that missed it. It's so good. Okay, the next one is Saint Knickerdoodle, and this was Sense of the Season over our last holiday stretch. So good, you guys. Okay, so you want, if you're a bakery person and you're an apple person, the most incredible combination. Fill every other warmer with apple butter frosting and Saint Knickerdoodle and when it comes to Scentsy Wax, you have died and gone to bakery heaven. Oh, they're so good together. So the St. Knickerdoodle is more pastry-like. It's like a really flaky apple pastry that has almost like a, oh, what's the one I want? A strudel that's been covered in powdered sugar. It's got the spices. It's so good. I even melted it a couple days ago and I don't think it's Christmas specific. I will melt that all year round, it's amazing. The next one is World Traveler, which is one of my favorite more colony masculine scents. Now, there is a bar coming in our June Bring Back My Bar where I'm debating, I have to see how all my quantities shake out over time, whether World Traveler is going to stay in my club. And I know many of you that have been watching me for a couple you know, seasons are gonna be like, but Elizabeth, you love this one. I do, but Hemingway's coming back and I love that one even more. But this is Oak and Dark Berries. It was an August scent of the month a long, long time ago. A sophisticated, very old world, very, very nice and unique. So I probably won't take it out of my club, but I'm thinking about it because Hemingway is apples and more of like a warm fall earthy masculine scent is so good. Ooh, now this one, I don't know what I'm going to do about this because I think I have seven or eight of them in my stash already. Tiare and coconut. Oh, do I love this bar. Most of you do not like it. This is kind of like Lush Gardenia, except more tropical. This was our Island Days last year. It was very much a love or hate kind of a bar. If you love heady white florals, this bar is incredible. So I melted this so happily all during the month of August. It was for me the best bar that was in that collection. 
and it just smells like the most luscious coconut floral suntan lotion. It's different than Soak and Raise, which is sharper, which I also really like, and is different than our current Soft Plumeria, which is far more floral, not so much suntan, that's in the Epcot collection. This one falls right in the middle between those two. And this is kind of like Lush Gardenia, which is also now retired. That's in my quarterly club. Heady, white, floral, beachy, coconut heaven. So good. And the thing about doing a Scentsy Club video is that everything that's in here, you at least like it because you chose it. So it's one of those videos where you can just, everything's wonderful, everything's fantastic, everything's fun because you always love it. And the top of my Southern Evening is completely gone. I love it when they give you a bar like that. Anyway, Southern Evening is another really amazing, mysterious, complex bar. And this is halfway in between masculine and feminine. We're a world traveler, very masculine. This one is mysterious and it has fruit, it's got geranium, it's got lavender, it's got musk. And this is a bar that you can melt for two or three days and every day it smells different. And so this is another one kind of like World Traveler where I don't know that I will carry it in my club for forever and forever, but it's so good and so unusual that I have a really hard time taking it out, which is why my club keeps growing. The next one, oh man, this was one of my standouts from the fall winter season with Scentsy as far as a new LTO bar. I love this one. I have like four bricks plus it's in my club, which is bad because I'm going to have too much wax. Caramel chestnut. Oh, you guys, is this good? This is the most amazing, gooey, deep, rich fall winter scent. Oh yeah. It's a lot like toasted acorn and oak, but more, more uh, bakery. So you've got this wonderful toasty chestnut, which is one of my favorite scent uh, notes of all time. And then you have the gooey caramel, and it's earthy, it's roasty, it's woody, it's sweet, it's amazing. So I hope that comes back in our catalog next fall winter. I will be happy to just keep it in my club, but for all of you who missed out on it and you are finding out too late that you love it, I hope it comes back. Okay, the next one is Coconut Palm. Now this one I did already pull because I bought four or five of these over the course of the last couple months. It was a BBMB. This is a very interesting bar. I still do not know if I love it, but I really wanted some for summertime to be able to melt with things like Kukui and Coconut. And actually we have this new Blue Coconut Beach that's going to be released April 1st for Mother's Day, it's amazing. I think this is gonna be a great compliment to that. This is kind of, and I don't mean this in a bad way, a waxy chapstick coconut scent. But it's good too. And the longer that you melt it, the more enjoyable it is. So this is another bar that I was able to say goodbye to that. I have a few, it's good. All right, the next one. I don't know that this is ever going to come back because I don't know if it was as popular with most people as it was with me. And that is maple rum cake. Oh, this was good. This was in our Harvest Trio last year and it is never coming out of my club if they don't put it in the catalog. Oh, this is the worst bar on cold you're ever going to sniff that then turns into the most amazing thing when warmed. It's really weird that way. If you've only smelled maple rum cake on cold, I'm sure you hate it. It kind of smells stale and off, but when you put it in the warmer, it turns into this deep, rich, dark, rummy spice cake. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so good. It has a good, strong throw. It's amazing with caramel chestnut. Oh, I'm a fall winter girl at heart, can't you tell? All right, next we have Simply Vanilla. Now, Simply Vanilla is the most classic vanilla that Scentsy's ever made. I'm glad it's in my bi-monthly because that gives me five a year if I skip one. That's the other thing I forgot to tell you. When you set up a Scentsy Club, if you start to have trouble with the budget and too much wax, once a year, Every frequency can be skipped, but you've got to make sure it's been a full 12 months so that you do not lose retired bars. If you skip one of your shipments at the wrong time, it will give you a warning on your screen. And then if you commit to it, you're going to lose all of your retired bars that are not done within that past 12 months period. They'll all disappear out of your club. So just be careful. But as long as you do it once a year, if you just do not want that next bi-monthly shipment, skip it. And then in a year, you can skip it again. Same thing with the quarterly. That is what I do. Typically, I will skip my quarterly in January because it has more holiday scents in it than my bi-monthly. And I will skip my bi-monthly. I think it's in July. This year, I'm not sure if I'm going to skip it because I kind of would like, I think, just with the way my life and my budget goes, 
to get both of those skipped in January so I do not have to deal with the club shipment and its expense at that time. Anyway, we'll see how that goes down the road with me. But Simply Vanilla is in my bi-monthly and the Vanilla Cream that came out in our last BBMB, that's in my quarterly. So I have lots and lots of wonderful vanilla. It's good as a mixer, it's good on its own. It's very floral, very creamy, very lovely. And the Vanilla Cream is a little bit stronger. So we'll talk about that next month. Next one is Quiver. Now, this is a bar that I don't know that I'm going to keep for forever and forever, but I liked it so much more when I was melting it during our BBMB window than I ever had before that I thought, yeah, I'll just throw it in and see. So it's nice to have a few bars that are kind of on the bubble where if you just have too much going on in your club, it's too expensive, too much wax, just take out the stuff that you don't love. But there are those ride or die bars like apple butter frosting and the maple rum cake, the caramel chestnut, those are just staying unless they come back in the catalog at some point. Quiver is tuberose and musk and it's a very weird old lady kind of a romantic scent but it's so good in the middle of the winter and in drizzly yuck like today. The next one is good old butter pecan. Now here's another one where I do not love it quite as much as apple butter frosting, but it's too good for me to take out of my club. I only have one. The other, the apple butter frosting is one of the few bars where I have two coming to me bi-monthly. I think that's the highest frequency bar that I have in my club as far as how many I'm getting within a year. Oh, butter pecan's good though. It's like roasty and toasty and sweet and creamy. Absolutely amazing. A delicious, delicious bar. That started out as an October scent of the month a few years ago. Next, I have Vitamin R Relax. Now, here is one of those examples of why you have a club, even if you don't have a lot in it. Vitamin R was part of the vitamin collection last year around February. There were a bunch of different bars in it. Vitamin U Unwind actually ended up in our spring summer catalog, which kind of shocked me because it wasn't my favorite. And then we had a vitamin, oh, we had a vitamin Soothe. We had a vitamin that was like a metal one. I don't remember the name of that, but this vitamin R Relax was incredible. And without Sensi Club, I would never be able to get more of it after my stash ran out. I don't know if we'll ever see this again. The LTO collections, they rarely bring that kind of thing back for bring back my bar voting. I hope we see something like that in the future. This bar with its beautiful like vanilla and bergamot and cashmere and sandalwood is one of the most comforting, stylish, amazing scents that they produced all spring summer for me last year. And I'm so happy that I can melt as much of it as I want because it's in my bi-monthly club. Next, we have Sticky Cinnamon Bun. Now, I think for this particular shipment, I had two of these. I bumped it down to one after the shipment shipped. And that's one more thing about Club, if you are new. You can decrease the number of bars that you have in your club, but after something becomes unavailable, like they're not selling it within an LTO or in the catalog, you cannot increase your quantity. So just be warned. Let's say that you love Sticky Cinnamon Bun, and you were setting up a club and you weren't sure how many you wanted per month, maybe started at a frequency higher than what you really need so that you can bump it down. So for me, because I have just so much wax all the time, usually two is highest and then one is what I will do for almost every bar. Some people do eight or 10 of a bar and then they bump it down over time. This is so good though. This is the perfect sweet, sticky cinnamon vanilla scent. It doesn't have a lot of actual like bun, so maybe it's a little bit misnamed, but it is the most gorgeous, comforting, sweet, gooey vanilla cinnamon. So this makes me very happy. Came back and bring back my bar. I had had it a long time ago, just from a, I think like a resale shop kind of a bar. And I'm so glad it's back at my club. So here is oats and honey. Now here is another one. It's very, very good. But over time, I don't know if I will keep this for forever. As I am melting it, I like it, but it just doesn't make my heart sing like some of the heavier bakery ones do. I already got rid of Crumb Top because that one did not perform the way that I like as much. Sugar Cookie's my favorite when it comes to like a lighter bakery scent, but Oats and Honey is very, very good. And this was Bring Back My Bar a couple seasons ago, I think for January. So it really does smell like honey and oats and that crumbly goodness that you get on top of a pastry. Oh, it's so good. So. This one's in my club for the time being. If I have to make some sort of sacrifices down the road, he may be on the chopping block. 
blackberry spice. Now this, if for some crazy reason, this one does not come back next fall, winter, this is why you have a Scentsy Club. It was new last year. I fell in love with this bar. So it's blackberry, it's apple, it's got a little bit of blueberry, it's got cedar, it's got spices. Oh, it's so good. It's like welcome home and then add cedar and fruit. It is amazing. So I will want this all spring, summer. I will melt this on a rainy day, even when it's 90 degrees outside. That was a standout of the new releases last year and I did not want to take the chance that I may never see it again. Here's my other sticky cinnamon bun, like I said. Had to. All right, the next one's going to be vanilla cinnamon maple. Now here is another bar. I did not love this when it first came out as a brick. I had a whole brick and I was getting down to the bottom of my brick when finally last summer, I don't even know why, I had this aha moment that all of a sudden I loved it in my basement and I had to throw it in my club at the end of the season. So this, you know what, if it comes down to jockeying things around, vanilla cinnamon maple in some ways is kind of like oats and honey. It's a medium gentle bakery scent and probably I would prefer to keep this one than the oats and honey. Now this doesn't have that oat note. This has more of like a smooth, really comforting blended. I hate to use the word generic in the wrong way, but a generic bakery scent that just plays well with others. It's very fall, whereas oats and honey is more spring summer, I will say that, which of course is why I like this one better. And it's just so comforting. I love comforting smells. If you cannot tell, if you watch, if you watch this month and next month, you will know all about my preferences of the things that I will sacrifice for because it's bakery, spice, and some woodsiness. Lemon coconut chiffon, hands down, the best lemon scent for me since he's ever made. This is incredible. This was another one from last summer, Spring Back My Bar, I think. Oh, you guys custardy, coconutty, lemony cake goodness. It's incredible. Mm, I wish I could eat this. This is one of the few where you're almost tempted to chew on the bar. It's just light and luscious and lovely, unique. And I'm so glad that I have clubs so I can keep getting that for forever. The next one is Perk Me Up. Now, if you guys were watching my January, February process on the couple of Bring Back My Bars that we had with coffee in them, Perk Me Up is not amazing but it's good and I'm liking it more and more the longer that I am handling it and mixing it so this is one of those bars where again when I get to the pinch of oh gosh I've got too much in my club this may get the boot but it's staying for the time being because it's very good melted with salted caramel toffee it's very good melted with salted caramel cupcake and I'm thinking there will be other things that I can play around with this with that will give me that little hint of coffee because since he doesn't do coffee fabulously, unfortunately, it's kind of its weak link when it comes to the types of scents that the company produces. This one is the best one for me for now, so I'm enjoying it. Medium level, smooth, gentle coffee. All right, now Mandarin Moon. This is an amazing bar. To be honest with you though, it's in my club because my daughter won't let it go. I have enough of them and it's pretty strong that if it was just me, oh, it's so good though. I probably would be happy with my stack of four or five that I already have. This is a fall bar. This is beautiful fall spices, heavy on the ginger, heavy on the orange. It is smooth, it is deep, it's rich. Reminds me a little bit of Constant Comment Tea. It is just fantastic. But a little bit goes a really long way. So with some bars, you know, you enjoy them for a season and then you kind of get your fill and you know you got a couple in reserve and you know you'll be okay with letting them go. Without my younger daughter's input, that would be one. It's so good though. But I have Sweet Orange Pomander in backup. That one's in my quarterly club, plus I've still got a brick and I like that one better. So, oh, here's another perk me up. Then we have Buckleberry. Now this is a bar that a lot of people do not care for. This is my favorite thing to melt in alternate warmers with bakery, especially summer and early fall. Deep, oh, it's so good. Deep, rich, complex berries, like mulberry, deep, dark, probably like loganberry, blackberry, be a little bit of a raspberry, and then kind of a hint in the background of coffee cake. And because it smells like that to start with, then you either pair an alternate warmers or a direct mix with something like an oats and honey or an almond croissant or a French toast, you get the best berry bakery combo ever. So my perk me up was bumped down to one. I had the two. So here's the French toast. Now this is a bar I love. 
but I don't think it keeps all that well. Yeah, see, this is a fresher bar. It gets this weird, almost burned wire scent in the clam the longer that you hold on to it. So this is one, oh, it's so good though when it's fresh. I really just need to melt this more quickly. I wish I could move it to my quarterly. That's not an option. You have to combine entire clubs to shift things around. I wish we could still do the one bar that you could scoot all over the place. You can't do that anymore. This smells like French toast. It's got the egg, it's got the cinnamon, it's got the powdered sugar, it's got the maple syrup. It's a powerhouse. I love it but it doesn't really keep all that well, which is odd. One of the few bars that gets like that for me. All right, the next one is Vanilla Waves. Here's another reason why you have a club. This was a shocker that just got taken out when spring, summer came back in March. It's not in the catalog anymore, you guys. Many people wept. This is so good. It's vanilla, it's cream, it's caramel, it's a tiny bit of sea salt. It's a very good mixer. I love this in alternate warmers with vanilla blackberry, which is a bar I only have one bar left of. Oh, it's so amazing. Fantastic, creamy summer goodness. So that's why I have a club, so you don't have to cry. Cozy vanilla and pumpkin. Now here's another one. I like this a lot, but it's not in my top 10 in my buy monthly club. Oh, but it's so good. So I think this will make three bars. I might get it up to five and then pull this. Oh, but it's so nice. This is a fantastic August to September scent for me when I'm sick of summer. And this was in our harvest trio last year. It is like a cozy vanilla gentle spice and pumpkin blanket. Just amazing. Medium throw. So, so good for early fall. I don't think we'll see that one again though, so I really have to think twice before I pull it. Now, here is Cloven Cinnamon. This is in my club as a just in case. If they were to retire it next fall, I would cry. This is one of my favorite classic Scentsy Scents of all time. I 95% expect to see this in the fall winter catalog next year. But after one year, Cozy Fireside did not come back. I club everything that I love between my quarterly and my bi-monthly. No exceptions. If I love it, I club it, and then I'll just cut down on other types of expense with Scentsy. I will never be out of that kind of bar, which is just the strongest, most amazing clove and cinnamon goodness. Farm stand pumpkin. Here's another one. I don't know if it's coming back next fall winter. Now this one, on my scale, I could live without it, but man, when I melt it, I remember why I love it so much. Now between this and Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin, I guess if I had to get rid of one, I'd probably choose the Cozy Vanilla and Pumpkin. The problem is farm stand pumpkins far more likely to show up in the fall winter catalog. So I'll probably just hold on to both of them until August when we know. Oh, is this good? This is what I call my fall pumpkin hayride scent. This has a little bit of caramel, which gives it sweetness. I used to work at Horse Barns. I'm very familiar with that beautiful golden hay scent in the summertime, you know, when the sunlight's hitting the hay in the hay mow. I feel like the caramel in here reads like that with the cinnamon and the pumpkin. It is the most beautiful, happy, gentle fall scent. Oh, so good. Okay, the next one is Toffee Butter Crunch. Now this is a bar. I was so happy to get this back into my club for bring back my bar. It's the best caramel toffee scent we make. Well, except for caramel chestnut, but that's a little bit different. So for just sweetness, Toffee Butter Crunch. Crunchy toffee brittle with walnuts. It's so good and it lasts a long time for a toffee bar. It's so, so nice. The next one is vanilla bourbon. Now this is also in my club for my younger daughter. This is one of those scents that will drive you nuts when it comes to performance. It's really beautiful in the clam. One day you can smell it, the next day you can't. Drives me absolutely crazy. When it's on, it smells like creamy, nutmeg, and bourbon, and vanilla, and it's gorgeous. And then the rest of the time, you're playing Where's Waldo. All right, the next one is Almond Croissant. Now this, I did have up to two bars quarter, or two bars bi-monthly, but it's nice and strong, five bars a year, meaning one every shipment plus the one that I skip. It is enough, but oh, sometimes I get a little nervous that I shouldn't have cut it down. This bar is my second most valuable in this club, I think. Oh man, beautiful flaky almond pastry, a little bit of sugar and spice. Oh, it's so good, you guys. This is just phenomenal. Love it, love it, love it. Right, this is cashmere and corduroy. I'm pretty sure this will be coming back next fall winter, but you just never know. And I wanna melt this over the summer. Oh, this is so good. This is Sicilian bergamot. This is vanilla. This is 
a really nice woody resin of sandalwood. It's incredible. Now this is deeper and more sophisticated than vitamin R, but they are similar. If I had to choose between the two, cashmere and corduroy is a little bit better and it is a phenomenal performer. It lasts for days. Dancing Sugar Plums. This was a new love for me last fall winter. I'm afraid this won't be coming back next year just because it would kind of be aging out. I don't know how well this one sells. I found this to be the, oh, it's so good, you guys, to be the best team player with things like apple butter frosting, with things like the St. Knickerdoodle, with things like even uh, vanilla bourbon, honestly. It's plum, it's apple, it's spices, it's medium level. So it's not aggressive. Very good company scent. If you still want to do spicy, absolutely gorgeous. All right, what else have we got in here? We're getting down there. Cedar Cider. Okay, this would probably be number three of scents I have to save if they were ever to leave. Oh, you guys, this is the best wood smell I think Scentsy makes. Cedar, this wonderful simmery apple cider, deep, resinous, little bit of vanilla in the background, vanilla bean. You can't really tell it's there. It just gives it this wonderful complexity. This bar is such a good performer. It's such a classic. I would be shocked if it's not there next fall winter, but I don't want to find out it's not. So that is why it's in my club. It's amazing. That is definitely in my top 10 of all time of Scentsy Scents. Cider Mill. Here's another one. This is a classic where if they take this out, everybody will riot. But I just never want to have another Cozy Fireside moment. Oh, this is so good. So this would be another one. This is in the absolute top of all the bars that I have in this particular club. Never coming out if they were to discontinue it. And that's why Cider Mill's in here instead of my quarterly. Uh, five bars is going to be barely enough if this was ever to retire in a year. This is smooth pumpkin and apple and gentle simmering spices. Much more on the fruit part than on the spice. Gorgeous. Perfect. Classic fall scent. That should be in a brick, honestly. Next one is apple cherry strudel. Now this is just because I am a bakery lover. It's not the best performer, but the cherry note in here is the best scent he's ever made. I like it far better than maraschino sugar cookie. Oh, it's so good. This one's good with uh, apple cherry. No, this is apple cherry strudel with St. Knickerdoodle. It's amazing. It's juicy cherry, mellow apple, strudely crust is so nice. What else? We're almost down to the bottom. I told you this was a big club. Cucumber lime. This was just an extra thrown in because I wanted a couple more bars. I didn't like this when I first smelted it. I found out, oh, it's good actually. It's so good. Spring, summer, really good from Bring Back My Bar from January. But it's not something where I'm gonna cry if I don't have more, so I have a small stack, I'm good. It's crisp cucumber, beautiful lime, really good melted in alternate warmers with cocoa lime, which is why I wanted more. And it lasts a long time. This is a powerhouse if you want a green sun. Next, what do we have left here? I've got, ooh, gosh, I told you this was huge. It just is like a never ending bucket. All right, so we have Autumn Hearth. This is one where I really debated whether to club it or not. So, oh, it's so good. This is apple, cinnamon, and tonka. Just amazing. It's just fall comfort in a bar. Silver Bells. Now this one, I hope it comes back next fall, but I do not have high hopes. Needed to go in my club. It is mint candy canes, pear, and brown sugar. It's amazing. It is its own scent of everything in this bi-monthly. Probably the most classic, unique scent from Scentsy. So, so good. I hope y'all club that. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. Now, I think this will come back next fall, but I couldn't bear to be without it. The most beautiful, and you can melt this all year, by the way. That doesn't even smell like pumpkin. It just smells like the most gooey cinnamon roll with sort of a warm roundedness, which comes from the pumpkin. Cranberry Muffin. This is so good, too. Like I told you, all the bakeries in this club and more of my seasonals in the quarterly. Oh, so nice. So this just smells like that cranberry bread you used to get on the back of the bag in the 90s from Ocean Spray. It's amazing. It grows really well, too. Nice and gentle but very good. An autumn stroll, another classic. This is kind of like a toned down version of cedar cider or a toned down version of spiced berries, which is in my quarterly. This is my favorite new bar from our Bring Back My Bar. Absolutely classic. Good, like a little bit of patchouli, little bit of cinnamon, little bit of simmery plum. Oh, amazing. And then toasted acorn and oak, which is very similar to the caramel chestnut, but take away the, oh, take away the gourmand note. It's amazing. 
cannot be without this. They put it in last fall winter's catalog, and I was so relieved because I did not fall in love with it until after it was an LTO. That's how that stuff goes. And last but not least, a brick of sea salt and avocado, because this is now fully retired. You can get it in Scentsy Club. This will last me forever because it's my younger daughter who loves this more than me. And that is my Scentsy Club, you guys. There is a ton here. So tune back in next month when it will be just as crazy in my quarterly. I got really happy at the end of the season. So this is just the best deal at $12 for all this wax of, and my husband's home, of the avocado and the orange and the sea salt. So this is Elizabeth with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents with my bi-monthly club. This is why you have one so you can just have a wax party all day long. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.